stimulus with spend, save, and give. Okay? Who wants to put more in spending? You want to put a lot in spending or how about more in saving? Yes? Okay, very good. How about um, putting money in giving? Okay, so it's up to you how much you want to put there, okay? When you grow older, you will learn um, how much percentage should go in each, okay? But for now, when, while you're kids, it's just good that we focus on just three, okay? And then you decide which one. So you can um, divide them equally if you like, okay? So uh, money drawers are very, very important, okay? So that when somebody asks money from you, for example, Quarantine or a lockdown period, 
when kids are already allowed to go out and maybe when you go back to the mall and you find something that you like, you will probably have a lot in your spend jar already and you can just use that, right? So that it's not your parents who will spend for everything. You can already have your own spending money. Is that good? To have your own spending money? Yes? Is it also good to save on your own and not just depend on your parents? Yes? Because even if we're kids, even if you are still kids, you can still uh, do a lot with the money that you receive, okay? So, next. Okay, we have another video. I hope you're ready to listen, alright, to watch. Everybody, here's your pay. Oh, poor thing. I wonder where it's been. Hey, okay, okay, great. Did you enjoy that song? Yes, you enjoyed that song. It's really, really nice there. There's a lot of lessons. Okay, let's take a real look. You can spend. Still imagining the song. Spend, save, give, and delay. It's a really, really video and uh, music video. It's a music video. Who among you likes music videos? Yes? Oh, Sophia really loves it. A lot of you love um, listening and watching uh, music videos. And this one is all about what we can do with money. money. So it also it also uh, teaches us many things. Okay, can you tell us? What did you learn from the video? Who can tell us? Uh, how about uh, Sophia, okay, what did you learn from that video? I learned that you can dance, save, spend, and also, and also help people. And me, you cannot just spend any money. Good job. Okay, yes, you remember there were characters there, right? Like Charity, she's all about the naming, and then there was someone... Uh, his name is Justin, and he likes to make money, yes? He's good at um, earning money. Okay, so who else wants to share what you learned from that video? Uh, how about Ezra Sophia? Okay. Um, it's for saving, so you can buy anything you want. And um, when you have earned a lot of money, you can now buy. Yes, correct, correct. Okay, that's wonderful. It's great that it's just a short video and yet we learned a lot. How about Jose Gabriel? You can save, give, spend, and donate. Very good. Okay, actually get your gift um your gift jar, it's also for donating, right? It's for giving because donating is also giving. Okay, so good job everybody. Alright, so I think that was that video was really nice. I really like it. So how can we earn money this time? Remember, um, Justin in the video, he was making a lot of money. And if you remember our, our storytelling a while ago about Money Ninja, remember Money Ninja had a lemonade stand and he had a candy uh, machine, right? And he also had a YouTube channel. Who among you wants to become a YouTuber? Is there somebody here? <laughs> because. Because, yeah, in, in the other class, in the other class, the one with the older kids, a lot of them want to become YouTubers in the future. So, yes, that's one way we can make money today, right? Who among you would like to sell something to make money? Yes? Wow, a lot of you also. If you're going to earn money, it's very important that we have um, the assistance of an adult, right? Of, a, of your mom or your dad can help you out. Okay, so there are many different ways to earn money. Are, we're going to be talking about goods versus services. Yesterday, we talked about planned versus unplanned expenses. But this time, there are two ways that you can uh, earn money. Okay, so maybe you can sell goods or goods are things that you can see. You can use them, right? And services are the things that you can do, all right? That you can do for others or others can do for you and then you pay them so a car is a good and a car wash is a service okay now um, let's try a little game okay just like uh, yesterday if I say something and you think it's good you have to touch your nose if it's a service you have to touch your ears okay I'm going to try it with you now Alright, let's see. How about a pencil? Touch. What's your answer? Is it goods or services? Pencil. Very good. Those are who are touching it are very good. How about the paintbrush? The paintbrush. It's good. Okay, because you can touch it, you can use it. Okay. 
you know what? You can actually come up with ways on how to earn money using goods and services. For example, who among you are good in drawing? Raise your hand. Who among you are good in drawing? Okay, Sophia, Jose Gabriel, Mike, Ezra, Sophia, who else? Summer and Toby Tish, Eliza, Dan. Who else is good in drawing? Okay, those people, those kids who are good at drawing. My sister's good at drawing. Okay, good. When um, when you're good at drawing, it's one servant is that you can offer. For example, your aunt or uncle needs somebody to draw uh, on, a, on a shirt. For example, they're designing shirts or maybe they need to give cards to somebody. And they need somebody to draw for them because they're not good at drawing. So what will you do? You offer your... Service, tell them, okay, um, aunt, aunt, uh, for example, aunt Linda, I can draw for you, but it's my business. I have a drawing business, and aunt Linda will say, okay, can you draw for me? How much will it be? And then maybe you can say, um, it's just 50 pesos for this big. All right, I will pay you 50 pesos, and you will draw for me. Is that a good deal? Yes? You want to earn 50 pesos and draw for somebody? Okay, yes. How about, for example, maybe your uh, maybe your neighbor needs a poster for his business and he wants to put it um, in front of his house or maybe he wants to uh, take a picture of it and then put it on Facebook, okay? But he doesn't know how to draw. Do you think you can draw for your neighbor? Yes, you can make a poster, a nice poster for your neighbor and that's going to be a service and it will help you to earn money. Okay, so let's see some more examples here. So the first, um, the first type of thing that you can do to earn money. Number one, offer my services for a fee. You can walk dogs. Who loves dogs? Raise your hand. Who loves dogs? Okay, so if you like dogs and you know how to walk them, some people may need your help in walking the dog just around the neighborhood or maybe just in their backyard and then they will pay you and look everybody look see the kids drawing right they're making a map okay and maybe somebody um somebody paid them to do this and now they're earning from them and how about the picture of the kids i'm uh, washing the car can you do car wash who can who, who has tried doing car wash yes you've tried doing car wash maybe helping your or your dad Okay, so these kids, they're helping each other do a car wash and they're earning from it. Okay, and how about the one on the right, the right side on top? That's the, a Facebook they have page. Maybe if you know how to make a Facebook page, you can make one for some people and they will pay you, right? So those are certain. How about this? Who among you have things that you can sell? Who among you have things in your house that you can sell? Maybe you have toys that you don't use anymore and you can sell them to other people, right? Okay, so old things or used things, maybe you have clothes that you don't use anymore or clothes that don't fit you anymore, you can sell, you can also sell them, okay? Do you have clothes that don't fit anymore? They're too small for you now? Yes? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure you have a lot. Okay, toys and clothes and books that maybe you don't want to read anymore or you don't want to keep them anymore. Okay, number three. Everybody look here. Number three, make items to sell. Who can make uh, cookies? Who wants to make cookies? Who wants to make cookies? You want to learn how to make cookies and then sell them? Yes? yes. That's one thing. Yes. That's one way to earn money. How about lemonade or juice? Who can make juice or who wants to make juice or shakes? Yes, fruit shakes. We can sell them, right? How about birthday cards, homemade cards? Yes, we can do that, and we can also sell them. And the one on the left, do you do you know what that is? The one on the left bottom part, that's called slime. Who knows how to? Who who likes playing with slime? Raise your hand. Who likes playing with slime? Okay, you know what? You can actually take slime and then put it in a nice container and sell it to other kids. Would you like to do that? Yes. <laughs> Some of you may be. Okay, so there are many, many ways to earn money. No, Eliza, that didn't want to do that. It's okay. Uh, you can do something else. Who wants to start a YouTube channel? Yes? Some of you would like a YouTube channel. Yes, but you should not be shy because you're going to be in 
front of the camera, okay? I think Jose Gabriel has a YouTube channel, right? Yes, I've seen your uh, YouTube videos. Okay, so number five, you can help out your parents with their jobs or businesses. For example, maybe your mom or dad needs somebody to count their papers or to add something, or maybe they need to sort. Maybe they have to uh, to sort their uh, their things. Okay, so you can help out, and um, if it's their job or business, they can pay you something. Okay, for helping. All right, but of course, the the chores in your house, you don't need to be paid for that. But all that happen if you're not paid. All right. So it's very important. Okay, so are you still listening? Yes, we talked about how many, how many, um, how many things that we can earn? How many ways to earn? Five ways to earn. All right. Okay, so I'm sure that you have some, some there that you would like to uh, try out. Okay. So now we have another video here. Let's all listen. Hi, welcome back. You did an amazing job. You learned how to save money and spend smart. Now what? Let's put your money back to work. And if you're new to this... Okay, so what did you learn from that video? It's good to put our money in a... Where? Piggy bank. Piggy bank. In a... Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Okay, let's go. Hello. No, from the piggy bank, you have to put it where? Doggy bank. Doggy bank. Put it in the piggy bank, right? At home. Yeah. And then you have to Doggy. open a savings account in a real yeah. bank. Okay? So yeah. everybody, listen here. Okay, we have, it's very important that we let our, we grow and grow and become more. Oh, do you want your money to grow? Having 
so much fun. Yeah, you were dancing to the music, right? Yes. Is it fun to uh, make the money grow? Yes. It's yes. gonna be fun because you're um, later on, after several years, you'll have more and more. Your your savings will grow more and more, right? And there are many ways to make that happen. Okay, but for now, it's good that you were able to watch that and just to give you some idea. But I'm not going to uh, talk too much about. Okay, so now we go to our last activity. Okay, who among you would like to do the point twenty three? Okay, here you go. This is how you do it. Can you put you your points on your crayon? Is your bond paper? Okay. First, you need your bond paper. And we're going to make the tree, the tree trunk, and the branches. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I will show you. Okay, so you maybe you can use a black or a brown crayon or pen. All right. That's it. Okay, so first we need to draw the branches. Wait, let me spotlight my video. Okay, you put the coin under the paper and you rub over it, over the paper. Okay, like this, and then the design of the coin will appear on the paper. Thank you. 